In a world where digital connectivity is increasingly becoming the global measurement of inclusion or exclusion, it is difficult to accept that, as the International Communication Union reports for 2021, 2.9 billion people are still offline. For this reason, while highlighting the potential of digitalization, I would like to stress the potential risks for the most vulnerable, including some migrants. Lack of uh, online connectivity, digital devices and skills can lead to further isolation. Policies and interventions that do not adequately address so-called digital poverty run the risk of uh, worsening social isolation and broadening disparities within society. These inequities can only be overcome through effective partnerships between international and non-governmental organizations, academia and civil society, business, data owners and decision makers. We also need to ensure that uh, technologies are not used for campaigns of disinformation, fostering hostility and hate speech against marginalized groups. Technological frontiers are shifting at an unprecedented pace, creating enormous opportunities to improve the way we collect data and evidence to inform our policy decisions. Data is a fundamental driver for innovation and an asset to attain SDGs and the Global Compact on Migration objectives. Accurate information, disaggregated data and analysis can help make migration governance systems more fit for purpose in an increasingly mobile world. It can contribute to making migration a force for sustainable development and reduced inequalities, the vision precisely set out in the 2030 Agenda. Digital tools and data allow smoother access to immigration procedures through online applications and verification processes and e-visas, sharing information about rights, obligations and responsibilities, easing the asylum and the regularization process. This is why IOM decided to convene the Big Data for Migration Alliance, together with the European Commission's Joint Research Center and uh, govt AB at uh, New York University, a cross-sectoral network seeking to foster diverse data ecosystems to improve evidence for migration governance. Finally, while we embrace the possibilities technology presents us, we acknowledge it also poses new risks to democratic and individual liberties. Technology must be a factor for socio-economic development and not a tool for control and discrimination. As a coordinator of the UN Migration Network, I call upon all network agencies to ensure digital inclusion to support the implementation of the Global Compact for safe, orderly and regular migration. Thank you.